ASAP Rocky's debut album, Long Live ASAP, drops on January 15th. Here's five things you need to know about it. One, Rocky told us this album wasn't easy to make, but it was worth all the trouble. I've never been in this much pain in my life, and I think, you know, all my pain was devoted and, you know, kind of sacrificed for this whole project. This is really the most passionate thing I ever did, not to make it sound like a child or love or sex or anything, but it's really one of my best creations thus far. And, and you know, it's nothing going to be, it's nothing out that's going to be compatible to what I'm about to put out with this long live ASAP. This is, nobody's project is going to be touching this because it's not just like hip hop. This is a revolution. Two, there's so many killer features, it's probably faster for me to tell you who's not on the album. Check out this guest list. Schoolboy Q, Drake, Yellow Wolf, Santi Gold, Danny Brown, Action Bronson, 2 Chains, Joey Badass, Overdose, Big Crit, and Kendrick Lamar. And if you spring for the deluxe edition, you get Gunplay, ASAP Ferg, and Florence Welsh. Three. The album was supposed to drop on September the 11th. Then it got pushed back to Halloween. Then it got pushed to December. And now finally, it's coming out on January 15th. What took so long? Rocky says it took that long to clear all the samples. And trust me, it was worth the wait. Four, Skrillex produced one of my favorite records on the album, Wild for the Night. And I know that that sounds like an odd pairing, but in actuality, the two are pretty cool and have been cool for years. They have a long history of partying and going to raves together. And Rocky and Skrillex are so cool that ASAP calls him by his real name, Sonny. Five, the current single F***ing Problems is a huge hit, but Rocky says it's not even one of his best. In an interview with The Breakfast Club over at Power 105.1, he said it's probably the third or fourth least favorite on the album. And when you hear songs like Hell featuring Santi Gold, One Train featuring everybody in hip hop, and suddenly, you'll know why. Will Long Live ASAP live up to the hype? Will you buy it when it drops? Could ASAP have dropped the best album of 2013 in the first 15 days? Let me know in the comments below.